Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and in this video I am going to talk about 20 powerful features for this laptop. So let's start. So Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 has 2 in 1 convertible design. You can use it as a laptop or you can fully rotate it and convert it into the tablet. So here you can see you can use it in the portrait mode or you can also use it in the normal landscape mode. The next thing is the S Pen is also included with this laptop and this S Pen has a lot of functionality. The next thing is with its dynamic AMOLED 2X display and lightning fast Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, the multitasking is on next level. For example, I want to open this website in split screen. I will just snap it over here. On this side, I will open another app and here I will open my notes. And now I will start taking my notes. I can also scroll through the website and I can also access this gallery app. The next thing is, for example, you want to bring some data from this gallery app to your notes you can also do it just use your s pen press and hold it like this and you can easily drag and drop this image in your notes the next feature is about Samsung ecosystem. For example, on my Samsung phone, I am scrolling through a website and I find some interesting image. Now I want to copy this image. So I will press and hold it like this. I will select this copy image option. Now the same image will be available in my Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. I will open my Samsung notes. I will press and hold it like this. And here is the paste option. So I will select this paste and you can see the same image is now available in my notes. Same way you can also copy any text. For example, I want to copy this text. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will make my selection till here. And then I will select this copy option. Now the same text will be available in my Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. I will press and hold it like this and here is the paste option. So you can see the same text that I copy on my phone is now available on my notes. The next thing is you can also use your phone as connected camera for your Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. So here I will open this phone link app and you can see I can access my phone through my Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. Now for example, I want to open the camera so I can open it from my phone and you can see I can access my phone camera through my Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. I can also use the rear camera. So here I turn on the rear camera. So this is how it looks like through your Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. The next feature is about S Pen. So guys, this S Pen is included with Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and it does not need any charging. So it has this flat surface on one side. You can attach it magnetically at the back side of your Galaxy Book. So you can attach it over here like this and then you can use your Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. So guys, this S Pen is easy to grip and it has 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity. So you can use it for sketching, for painting and for handwriting as well. The next thing is it also has this S Pen button and it has a lot of functionality. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting image and you want to capture only the image part. So what you can do is just bring your S Pen closer to the screen, press the S Pen button, it will open the air command and then you can use smart select tool. So here is the smart select tool, I will select it and now I will start making my selection using my S Pen. So I will select only the image part. So now you can see only the image part is available. Now you can edit it, you can share it and you can also pin it. The next feature is about note taking. So guys, this laptop already have four pre-installed note taking apps. So we have Samsung Notes. The next one is Microsoft OneNote. Then we have GoodNotes. And the last one is NoteShelf. So you can use all of these four different apps. The next thing is you can also sync these note taking apps across different devices. 
The next feature is about palm rejection. For example, I open my notes and here I want to write something using my S Pen. So I will rest my hand on the screen and then I will start writing. So you can see there are no spots on this part of the screen. So that means this laptop has palm rejection technology. So you can easily rest your hand on the screen and you can do your work. The next feature is about touch screen. So guys Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 has brilliant touch screen with 120 hertz of refresh rate. It also support multi touch gestures. For example, I will open uh, this gallery app on one side and on the other side I will open good notes. Now for example, I will press and hold this image and I can easily move it anywhere on my screen and with the other hand. I can also scroll the second app. Now for example, I open this note and now I want to move this image to this note. So I can easily drag and drop it like this. So this is really really amazing. The next feature is about multi control. So you can control your Samsung phone through your Galaxy Book using multi control option. So you can see this cursor, I can use my trackpad and I can move this cursor to my phone. So here you can see I will bring this cursor to my phone. Now you can see the same cursor is available on my phone and I can control it through my trackpad. So here you can see now I can open any other app. For example, I open this gallery app. Now for example, I want to bring this image to my laptop. So I will use my trackpad, I will press and hold this image and now I will start moving it to my laptop. So here you can see the same image is now available on my laptop and I can drop it over here. Now if you want to check it, you can open it. So I will open this image. So I will use my trackpad and then I will open this image on my laptop. Now I will open the same image on my phone. So I will bring my cursor to my phone and I will open this image on my phone. So you can see the same images are available on both devices. So this is how you can use multi control. The next feature is about calls and messages. For example, you have a call on your Samsung phone. The same call will also show on your Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. Now if you want to answer this call, you can directly answer it from here. The next thing is if you want to end this call, you can also directly end it from your Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. The next thing is same way you can send or receive messages. So I will open this phone link app here. I will select new message and then here you can select the contact and then select this send a message option. Then you can type your message and you can directly send it through your galaxy book. You can also use this laptop for different AI features. For example, you can use Microsoft Copilot and here you can use different Copilot GPTs. For example, you can use designer and here you can use AI to create different images. You can also manage your tasks via quick chat prompts using Copilot. So guys, Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 has Corning Gorilla Glass with DX. So this technology decreases the amount of unwanted reflection and glare. This laptop also has VN Booster technology. So you can open your Samsung settings and then select display and then scroll down and here you see this option of VN Booster. So you can turn it on from here. Now you can see your display clearly even in bright sunlight. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button. If you press it like this it will change its color. You can try this experiment. This laptop also has built in fingerprint sensor on power key. So you can log in by just tapping on this key. The next feature is about screen recording. For example, if I want to prepare some kind of lecture and I want to do the screen recording. So a screen recorder app is pre installed on this laptop. So I will turn on this screen recorder. I will select this red button and then after this countdown, my screen recording will start. The next thing is you can also open another app. 
for example i will open this video and then i will play it now your screen recorder will also record this video the next thing is there are different tools available for example if you want to highlight anything important on your screen you can use this pen tool now if you want you can use your s pen and you can highlight anything important on your screen you can also turn on the front camera so here is the front camera tool so here you can see your front camera is now available over here if you want you can also change the position of this front camera as well once you finish with your recording just select this stop button from here and then if you want you can also edit this video so here you can see it is asking me would you like to edit this recorded video if i select this yes it will open the samsung studio app and then from here i can also edit my video as well so you just have to wait for a few seconds and then here you can see i can edit my video the next feature is about widgets so if i scroll through the side screen here you can see i have different widgets available so these widgets will be helpful for productivity for example here i have this spotify widget you can play your audiobooks directly from here you can also use this to do list widget as well you can also use this focus session widget here you can set daily goals so this will be really helpful in your productivity now let's talk about charging and battery life so guys with this laptop you will get this super fast charging travel adapter and you will also get this type c cable the next thing is for full charge it will take approximately two hours and the next thing is if you charge it for 30 minutes you will get 35 percent of charging now let's talk about the battery life so guys the battery life is about 9 to 10 hours with medium brightness and video watching on youtube if you do work plus video watching with light gaming and web browsing you will get about six to seven hours of battery life and then for heavy duty gaming it will last about two to three hours so it has very strong battery life you can select different power modes so here inside system settings you have this power and battery option and here you can see we have this power mode option available so currently i set it to best performance but you can change it select this arrow so here you have three different options available you you can go for best power efficiency or you can go for balanced or the last option is best performance now let's talk about the gaming on this laptop so here you can see i am playing asphalt 9 legends with maximum graphic setting so here you can see the gaming experience on this laptop so everything is working perfectly fine so guys please note that it's not gonna be a replacement for gaming laptop it has built-in intel arc graphics so here you can see the gaming experience for Asphalt 9 Legends. Now let's talk about the ports. So here on this side we have HDMI 2.1A out port so you can use it for 4K and 8K external monitors then we have these two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports so you can use any of these ports for charging then here we have this LED indicator for charging then on the other side we have 3.5 mm audio jack and here we have USB type A port and then we have micro SD card expansion slot so you can add up to 2 terabytes of micro SD card. Now let's talk about the keyboard. So here we have this numeric keypad. The keys are super quality with solid feedback. It also has this massive smooth trackpad. You can also customize this trackpad for scrolling speed. You can also use 3 and 4 finger gestures on this trackpad.
Now let's talk about the speakers. So this laptop has quad speaker system. So here you can see on bottom side, we have speaker over here and then we have one speaker on this side and one speaker on another side. So guys, these speakers are sound by AKG. So it's also written over here and it also has the option for Dolby Atmos. The hinges on this laptop are durable and made out of solid material. So here you can see the hinges. Now I will open it and then I will show you the hinges from inside. So I will open it like this and here you can see these hinges. So this is how it looks like when you open it in tablet mode. So these are the hinges. Okay, and then I will also show you from the other side. So this is how it looks like from this side. So guys, this laptop also include Samsung settings. I will select start menu and then from here I will open Samsung settings. So here you have a lot of options available. For example, if I select display and then I scroll down. So if I want to make my screen more brighter, I will select this bright option from here. I can also do the other display settings from here. Now I will show you the overall look for this laptop. So here you can see on left side we have the HDMI port and we also have the type C ports. So you can see this is how it looks like and you can also see the thickness when the laptop is open. Now I will show you the keys for this laptop. So you can have a closer look at the keys and here is the massive trackpad. So you can see the trackpad and now I will also show you the hinges. So here you can see the hinges when the laptop is open. And now I will show you from the other side. So you can see here we have this type A port and you can also see the thickness from this side. And I will also show you the screen. So here you can see the thickness of the screen when laptop is open. And now I will show you from the back side. So here you can see we have these speakers. So here we have this speaker on the back side and we also have a speaker on this side as well. And you can also see the thickness. And here are the hinges from the back side. So this is how it looks like. And now I will show you when laptop is closed and you can see the front side and you can also see the thickness. So very slim uh, laptop. So you can see from the front side. I will also show you the edges. So we have rounded edges. So here you can see from the back side when the laptop is closed. So this is how it looks like. You can see the thickness. You can also see the hinges from the back side as well and then from the edges as well so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much